What's up? Hi, you guys. <laughs> what's up? What's up? Dirty Talk Vegas. Woohoo. It's your girl, Carlucci. Carlucci. And your girl, <laughs> love, AK. I always keep the Gucci. You can talk to me about your Gucci. And I'm I well, let's start over. Tornado head because I'm keep your head spinning. Sorry, we all off tonight. <laughs> it's all good. We're a little tipsy. This is our holiday tier. Yes. <laughs> I've been drinking. Salute. I've been drinking. Salute. 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 Mm-hmm. Yes. The holidays and family. Right. It's all I about that family you. love. You Speaking of family love, I know I got to do some last minute uh, Christmas shopping. What about you? Um, I've done all I needed to do for the Secret Santa. I've gotten it out the way. So hallelujah. Um, I'm single, single this year. So I don't have to get gifts for anybody. This is a plus. I'm loving <laughs> it. I like cooking for myself, doing everything for myself, buying what I want instead of what I think other people want. So I mean, oh, that's fun. Yeah, I'm just hey. (laughs) (laughs) Happy holidays, everybody. You're like happy holidays to me. (laughs) Yeah, you look like you're over there playing Auntie Santa or something of that nature. I am. And it's my first year being mommy Santa. Um, But like the babies are just getting cute little baby stuff. But I did promise my nieces I would give them a little shout out. So I want to shout out Cammy the hamster. The um, and, yeah <laughs> and Sid that's her little baby hamster she okay. loves him and um, also Fia and Lola All Fia right. and Lola, Lola the dog <laughs> yeah I promised Sydney uh, so for my, my my Christmas shopping I promised Sid that I would get uh, her and hamster leash it's like what, what the fuck good so <laughs> she's gonna get a hamster her. leash that's her, that's her gift from Tia this year and Probably for Fia, I don't know. She's like a little artist, so maybe some some art supplies or something. They need they need paint brushes, so maybe she'll get that. I don't know. I, I saw. I haven't done. I've done zero Christmas shopping, so I have everybody to buy for still. Oh my God, you waited too long. No, actually, I've been in the stores and they haven't been that bad. If you go in the morning, especially on a Monday morning when everybody has to go back to work, they're really not feeling, they just party for the weekend. They're really not feeling like going shopping. Monday mornings I find are the best time to go, so. Well, I think I missed that boat because I should have gone this morning then because there's not going to be another morning before it, but that's all right, though. Oh. I'll, go to, I'll go do it tomorrow. I'll go do it tomorrow, tomorrow. and uh, get it taken. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. have yeah. some luck as well, so. Good luck, girl. See what's left out there. That's the <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what's out there. Whatever's out there, that's what they're gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I'm such a last minute too. I'm surprised that I even have everything taken care of. I mean, I didn't really have to do too much, but even just like grocery shopping, I decided to get it out the way today. I felt like it was a little early to be grocery shopping for Christmas cooking, but everything said best by used by December 25th. So I'm like, okay, they know we're about to use this for Christmas. Cooking. Mm-hmm. You know? Probably, probably. I think, I I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing for Christmas. I think maybe we're going to go out this year and, instead of staying in. So no dishes to do afterwards. But then I was also thinking then we're not going to have any leftovers either. That's no. kind of like the thing about Christmas and Thanksgiving is like, yeah, you eat on that night, but then the next day you have all those bomb ass leftovers. You just sit around and eat that. <laughs> so I don't know. I still, I still might cook something. I still might, you know, make it happen. I don't know. I guess we'll, we'll have to wait and see about that. Um, holidays are always crazy though, right? Like I feel like a lot of shit happens during the holidays and the energy and so the- I want to, I want to kind of get into that. The energy is yeah. Always- there's a lot going on, right? Yeah, it's always like I mean, yeah. There's a lot of good times going on, but there's also a lot of drinking going on, and there's a lot of people who are just like, you know, um, and a lot of feelings going on, and people that are in depression. Yeah, that's what I mean by feelings. Like, yeah, like in their feelings, maybe they're missing somebody, missing a loved one, or whatever. They're they're depressed. They're yeah 
feeling lonely. And so um, I feel like things are a lot more volatile during the holidays. And I actually had a rough uh, week. I What happened, girl? Had a girl, I had the first time that I've ever like seen a weapon in, in real life. Oh, like it was John. Yeah, it was horrible. I think I'm still in shock a little bit, actually. Okay. So and it just tripped me out, you know what I mean? What happened? Yeah. Yeah, it was all bad. What happened? Um there was there was a fight. There was a fight and I tried to get into the middle of the fight and I tried to break up the fight. And oh. then one of the persons drew their, their gun and I was in the middle of it. And I just had two twins. And like, they said they weren't going to do anything, but it's like one false move and something could happen. And um, it just made me realize like how crazy things are. And like, you know, people are going to parties, people are doing stuff. And like, I feel like that's when things always happen. And I don't know if you've been like watching or whatever, like in, in the media, but um, there was a party earlier in the year. It wasn't during Christmas, but it was like during a different holiday, uh, like around J- July 4th or something like that. And um, there was a party and Megan the Stallion and Tory Lanez were there. Mm. And apparently there was a firearm drawn and she says that she got shot in the foot. Mm-hmm. Um, he says that he didn't shoot her, but the there was an officer there that, says that this happened um so basically it says they were at a party that was like hosted by kylie jenner and Uh that um and that they got into an argument they were in the car together which i'm like if you guys are arguing why were you in the car together like how does that make any sense you know what i mean like i don't get it like were they friends or they weren't friends i don't know maybe yeah i guess because they had been together right like they had been together before and that they how Chris Brown and Rihanna got into it. They were in the same car together, you know. <laughs> That's when most arguments get, take place. The heated arguments. Yes. So they can't, they were, they can't just walk out the door. It's like, yeah, you're gonna hear this. Yeah. Trapped. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess whatever. They was in the car, they started arguing, and the police officer said that um that he heard. Uh, Tory Lanez shouting dance be dance and oh wait damn you distracted me with that do that again I'm just having some do that again (laughs) (laughs) peaches and cream goddamn all right so anyways uh, (laughs) she was shouting for her to dance so like in my mind I'm seeing Tory Lanez in the car kicking Megan the Stallion out and being like dance bitch dance and like (laughs) she's like jumping like har- like almost like a Harlem Knights type situation. You know what I mean? I mean. <laughs> and he's like, you shot me in my pinky toe. Yeah. Anyways, so it's been a big old thing and whatever, but like, I guess it just, I Why don't know, my situation out? and then, huh? Why are people pulling out guns? Whatever happened to like- idiots? That's what I'm saying. My, my situation and then seeing that stuff with Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez or whatever, I'm just like, ugh, people- what do you really need these things for? Like, it's the holidays. Things are crazy, but like, we don't need to, we don't need to do all that. Like, right. I don't know. There's actually never a time when you need to do all that. So I don't know. Never. I just want people to be safe and like, you know, think about the things that you're doing. It's the holidays and one wrong decision. And like, it could be change for everybody like you got to just keep it together people I mean it's also the time of year too where um unfortunately people like you said they get depressed and they use those same firearms to commit suicide or to maybe harm other people like you got to just think twice before you're doing something and um I'm not really like I usually don't like have like a side for like gun stuff because I don't really care about them at all. But, you know, it's definitely something to be aware of. I don't want to tell people not to have their guns because yeah. I know people like hunting and whatever. But it's like, you know, keep that shit in the safe. If you're feeling depressed or whatever, have somebody come over and take your stuff until you're feeling better. You know what I mean? I don't know. Speaking Just of stay work. safe during the holidays, people. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of that, like, 
we just lost Twitch to that. So um, that's what they're saying. Like he committed suicide. So it's like, it's real out here. Like the holidays are coming up and people are just not in the norm of a mental health um, space that they should be. So, I mean, we always say this anyways, but check on your people, check on your folks, make sure they're doing all right. Um, even I need to do that. <laughs> I need to check on a couple people myself. Make sure everybody's all right out there. And if you're listening, I hope you all right. Check in with your girl. I just did a welfare check on somebody the other day. I said, hey, bitch, this is like the fourth time I've hit you up. Like, welfare check at this point. Are you okay? And she hit me back like, oh, I've been working. Okay, good. I just need to know that you're okay. Yeah, I mean, check on your people. Like you said, um, even the what was his name uh twitch boss right yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh -huh. <clears throat> yeah it was like a dancer or something right he's he was on ellen he was ellen's like dj slash host slash dancer she always would go to him when you know she was talking to the audience she'd ask twitch like his input like what do, what do you think or um Last time she had like Snoop Dogg come out and he came out and he see walk with Snoop Dogg so stuff like that. Yeah, that's what man, that's that's horrible. I saw that the wife had released a statement or something saying that you know he was no longer with them and blah 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 blah. And it's like you got to think about those things that you do because it's like during the holidays, so it's like forever, forever more for that person. Christmas not going to be the same, you know, and like it's such a it's such a hard thing because I know those people are going through so much, but it's also really selfish because it's like you're just spreading that pain to other people, you know? Yeah. Get yourself somebody to talk to. Mental health is a is a real thing. And, um, you know, Essie and I are huge advocates of um, mental health and, and being able to talk to somebody. So there's a couple of lines that you can um, call if you aren't feeling well. Um I know one in particular is the um, suicide hotline. Yep. Um, and let me think. I don't know. We can. Um, it's you can dial. You can dial nine eight eight from any phone, or you can also text nine eight eight, and they'll give you help twenty four hours a day if you call. If you call nine eight eight, so we just. Mm-hmm. 988. Please just reach out to Lifeline. It's 988 and they'll be able to help you. So that's my PSA for the holidays. And for those but, that feel like they don't yeah. talk to somebody, maybe <laughs> not something you want to do at the moment. There is such a thing called breath work. If you just breathe and let out and do like these like kind of like different exercises of breath work it helps also your mental health state so definitely look into um one of them is called sky breath it is something that i've recently done and i can testify that it does work it does calm you down and it does like um distract your mind from thinking about all the crazy shit so you can also look into just you saw in yourself and healing yourself as well and just know too you're not alone like we all have those thoughts we all have those days where it just seems like unbearable but just try to remember to just pause and like give yourself some time because this yeah. too shall pass so try to have that holly jolly spirit and try to you know get through it i know it's not always easy but try your best people try your best that's what i but, was of. like it, i'm this like is gonna pass like like I'm going to be looking back on this day like I always remind myself when I'm going through something crazy like this will pass and I will be in my back of my head and memories long time from now. and and it's going to make you grow and be stronger usually like you know you can take the L or you can take the lesson so right. it doesn't have to be a loss it can be a lesson and, and that's what I try to make it and whenever something happens like you know now I know like What's yeah. more important to me to try to be breaking up a fight or to try to still be here? So like next time yeah. I might have to be like going your own, bro. That part. <laughs> so and like it sucks because that's not who I am on the inside, but that's might just have to be what it is. 
And it's so crazy too now because everybody is so like gun happy. And so like I was reading a story not too long ago of like it was like a road rage um uh, um issue and they pulled out a gun and one of them actually got killed. And I'm thinking at the end of the day, when you're sitting back looking at yourself, like, do you think is this worth losing my life over? Because at the end of the day, you don't know who's not right in the head that has a gun that may mm -hmm. just shoot you because they were mad in the moment and you were the first person to stand in their way mm -hmm. at the end of the day, like when you're doing all that stupid road raging and honking and all that extra shit is it worth it to lose your life over like one is it this one person got followed home and they killed him at their house because of some road rage shit it's just like are you fucking serious like oh my god I'm just like, okay. I just let people go now. I'm just like, here, go in front of me. I don't even want to deal with your shit. Mm. That's insane. I mean, I guess the thing for me is um, that all goes down to practicing kindness in every single way. Like, kind of like what we we're talking about is being kind to yourself, being kind to others. And that's like one of the things that I, my family always does for the holidays, a little tradition that we have that I kind of want to pass on to you guys is um, for, the, for, for the days leading up to Christmas for the do one altruistic thing. So whatever that might be, like carry an old lady's groceries, um, uh, you know, pay it forward at some I love that. You know why? Because I kind of do that shit already. So I love it. Um, I love yeah. It. Yeah. So, I mean, that just might be one of those things that can also get you out of your funk and like it kind of spreads joy to others, right? Like, so even if you're having a bad day, you'd be $5 at Starbucks for somebody else's coffee. And then they're like all surprised. It's like, yeah, did it cost you $10 for coffee? But you were going to spend that $10 on some bullshit, anyways. <laughs> you I know what I mean? It. I love it. So, I love it. Yeah, and it and it really does uh, spread the holiday cheer, so to speak. And it also, I mean, I don't know about you, but like when I do good, I feel good. So I want, you know, it's, yeah, it's, for sure. there's a benefit to you as well. It's not just uh, to the other person. So um, there was some, there was some five easy ways to practice kindness that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, Number one, oops, I disappeared there for a second. My Christmas tree took the best of me. My Christmas tree got me right there. <laughs> um, so um, just one, expect good things to happen and be a positive light. And like in your mind, if you're just expecting good things to happen, they naturally will. And you know what? Not, but might not believe me right now, but just try it. Um, second, smile. You would be surprised at like if you just consciously remind yourself to smile throughout the day. I know it's annoying, especially I don't know how you feel, Essie, but I know girls a lot, women, we we've had that time where you're like walking down the street, girl, you might be thinking about some some I don't know what you might be thinking about, but um but you just aren't in the mood to smile. And then some old dude walks past you and like, smile, girl, you too pretty to be. You're like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. just try to smile. Just try to smile. <laughs> As you walk past people during the day, like smile at them. Like try to consciously yes. remember yourself. Um, Everything and then, to myself like, you smile, motherfucker. What? Why the smile? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I always think like, what the fuck do I have to be smiling about? Like, leave me the fuck alone. But it's true. Smile. Smiling it, it does something to your soul. So smile. Um, three, listen. Sometimes just be there to listen. You don't have to do anything. Just listen to people more. Hold on. Listen to people is key. And let me let me emphasize on listening because it took me a while to understand what listening consists of. Listening sometimes consists of not responding back, not having a reply. Sometimes people don't want an answer to what they're telling you. They just back it off their chest. So don't respond. Just listen. Keep your mouth shut. All right. <laughs> No, one hundred percent. Don't you don't have to have a response. You don't have to be anticipating saying something back. Literally, uh -huh. just 
be there to hear them and let them vent, let them get it out. You don't need to try to fix it. You don't need to try to say, oh, well, I understand. I've been in the same thing. Like, shut the fuck up. We don't want to hear that. Like, (laughs) just let me get it out. Yes. (laughs) I love it. Okay. (laughs) Practicing kindness. Um, So what did I say? Uh, Expect good things to happen and good things will happen. Smile at others and smile for yourself. Um, be there to listen uh stay connected and that doesn't mean facebook okay that means you know that friend that you keep on thinking about that you keep on thinking about from from high school you wondering oh did their kids graduate from school or whatever the fuck you're thinking about or you know they grandbabies all right whatever whatever it is you're thinking about call that person call them be connected be centered and if you're not thinking about a person because sometimes i don't know everything (laughs) I'm selfish. I'm be thinking about people. I'd be trying to be connected by thinking about me. And like, sometimes that's the most powerful thing that you can do. Be connected with you, be in touch with your inner self and your number one player. Do some self-care. Do give yourself a bubble bath with milk and oatmeal and flowers and shit. Uh, <laughs> Light some candles, send some sage and some non champa through the house. You know what I mean? Do you for a little bit. Do your nails, like wash your hair three times, like do whatever the fuck it do is. Do the facials you need to do to take some time. Yes. Be connected to your own self and like just take that time for you. Uh, so practice kind of that was four and then I think that the fifth most thing important thing for on others don't forget to get in a pussy. way that don't that what don't forget to get your pussy eaten I mean that's part of being <laughs> <laughs> spoiled in my my books like you made me disappear again stop <laughs> it <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> Well, that doesn't really go with focusing on others. I guess maybe if you're focusing on sitting on the other's face, then that could work. Focusing on his head between my thighs. What do you mean? (laughs) (laughs) Focus on others. Keep them at the center of your focus. So, yes, that's it. Practice kindness, people. And also get your pussy ate. I like to move move, move all in their mouths, but, you know, that's just me. (laughs) That's part of uh, taking care of yourself and loving yourself. Letting Amen. a man serve you like that is an amazing aspect of it. Okay, next. Amazing. <laughs> um, well, you know, what is it called? Condolinas? Mm-hmm. What? Oh. isn't that what it's called Condom. when you when you yeah is it a k or a c <laughs> that would be c uh when you let no it's a k no way well that's kind of well i don't know it says kundalini kundalini is like when you oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Okay. like when you when you do all of the feminine energy chakra yes yes love yes. making but i I don't know what I was thinking. I, I was talking about um, no, I'm trying to say I can't remember the word. It's I don't want to say the scientific word, but the proper word for eating pussy is like kundalini or kundalini or something. I can't remember what. The, I'm gonna think about it and I'll come back to you. <laughs> yes, I remember there is a word for it. Mm. Is it? I can't. Rem- Yes. Um, I don't I don't know the word though. It's been a while since I've done the fetish words. <laughs> but go on with your list. Oh my god, I won't let me find it. But wait, you No, those are the top five things. Oh, those are five. It's just five. Those are the top five ways of, of yeah. I mean I could do more, but I did five because I feel like you people need five. <laughs> You need five things you can focus on and try to do. It gives you five days if you did five one of those things every day to be connected to others. Then you could do that on one day. You could put the focus on somebody else maybe for one day. You could make sure you smile at other people. 
Or you know what? If you don't want to smile, day, like easy things that don't cost you anything. If you don't want to smile at someone, give them a compliment. That is also like really um, gratifying on a on a on a on a on an energy level of just feeling good. It's when you give other people a compliment and you see their reactions and how it makes them feel. Oh. It's the best. I love it. Like today I saw a couple. I don't even know if they were a couple. Maybe they were mom and mom and son because they kind of looked alike. But I was like, you guys look so cute together because they were both dressed in white. And, you know, they just kind of like matched each other. And so, you know, they just instantly like lit up. And I was just like, ah, oh, I did that. <laughs> so like, you know, just give somebody a compliment if you don't want to smile. <laughs> I don't like smiling at um, it. <clears throat> No, you know what? That's actually um, really true. And there's a thing right now that's going around on TikTok. I don't know if you've seen it lately, but um, um, it's that's like, an Italian. Okay, sorry. Okay. To it's well, it's to it's to normalize giving compliments. So there's like a chick. I mean, there's there's a whole bunch of people, but like the, the one chick, she little cute white girl. She just goes around and she's just like, "I love your sweater," and then like, yeah, oh, it's nice. All the people are like. Like they're fucking wearing like like some, some bullshit like this in there, and they're like, "You love my sweater?" Like they look all like, yeah, <laughs> look like all like surprised or whatever. Like it's super cute. Or like you know, she'll walk past somebody who has like a cute hairstyle or whatever, and then she's like, "Your hair is so cute." And like it's like you know, at the end of the thing, it's like normalized giving comment compliments, and like you'd really be surprised like watching the little shit. Like, I mean, I know TikTok, whatever the fuck, but it's actually super fucking cute. Like you know, a lot of the people are actually super touched and like you know, like one of the old ladies was like, you know, I think she's like, "Oh, your blouse is so beautiful," and she was like. Like you could tell, like nobody had said something nice to her in a long time, and it really meant something to her. You feel me? So I, I, you really start to see, like you know, giving a compliment can be a really nice way to touch somebody. And what does it cost you? What does it cost you? Nothing. You was looking at the motherfucker anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. Or just even if you see somebody that you might, you might feel like doesn't get complimented that much. Compliment. <clears throat> that part. That part. Give that little confidence boost. Be a cheerleader. Yeah, like after, after you tried, you got up, you, you put some shoes and stuff them together. You tried, it looks cute. Okay, so according to the Urban Dictionary, a person, a female or male who loves to eat vegina is called a vaginitarian. Vaginitarian. I love it. I love my vaginitarians. No, I found it. It's kungalunus. Oh. It's kungalunus. Yes, yes, that is it. That's the fetish though, isn't it? No, it is the sexual or oral sex act performed by a person on the vulva or vagina to another person. The clitoris is the most sexually sensitive part of the human female genitalia. Period. And a stimulation may result in a woman becoming very sexually aroused or achieving orgasm. I mean, oral or dick, what do you want? I want oral at the end of the day. I don't. I want both, but I want you to start off with that. I want you to start off with like, kisses and going down and all that shit and then, and then I want you to give me the dick sometimes I get turned off when I you know, is like is that what that fo- is that the follow through <laughs> the like, only time I get turned off is when it's when it's trash penis that's the only time when I'm what like, makes oh. penis trash like she said penis such a polite word what makes dick trash <laughs> <laughs> that makes them Wait, back okay to the if it's small oh, if it's small first of all if it's small i'm not with it i'm definitely yeah. a size what's girl. considered small do, do, do. Well, like i definitely don't want i need I some need girth and some gestures. Gestures. if okay. i have to, if i have to i want to not be able to close my no i'm five four so i have little hands i don't know if they look a little right yeah you have little hands. on camera but they're not big let me see here's a cup Look, see, that's my whole hand around the cup. <laughs> There's no gap. <laughs> I have little hands, and it's not a big cup, so it needs to be. It needs to fit in there. So. Nah. I got. I got to be able to grab. So it. I mean, <laughs> obviously, that would be way too big. But like, if my fingers, like, it can't be. It can't be like that. I can't be overlapping. <laughs> I don't want to be overlapping fingers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there's that. And then I, I, I don't want it in my fucking rib cage, but I definitely, huh? Two hands would be better than one. Okay, so yeah, like two hands would be good. 
Because you can twist and do all the tricks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit out. A little bit more than like that out. That would be great. <laughs> so, if we're, yeah. If we're talking ratios, we're talking like, you know, boom. First beer line. <laughs> <laughs> first beer line. I don't know. Line. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I'm not advertising TMT, but I'm gonna need it up there by the T. <laughs> uh, by the T, at least. <laughs> that part. No. Well, um, Carly, it's all, it's all kind of if things. you're if you're if you're if you're two hand lengths and a first beer mark, can you holler at your girl? <laughs> you got guys over there right now getting beers and trying to put it to the to the beer like. Ah. Can I make it? Can I make it? Are you in there? Are you in there? You know what's crazy? Uh, it's like lately, I know we kind of talked about this offline, but like for real, for real, the 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 cougar shit is real. <laughs> like <laughs> these little boys, they keep trying to holler at me. I'm just like, please stop because I'm not like, please stop. I'm like, continue, sir. No, like, cause they're my daughter's age. Oh, shit. I just told on myself. But like, some of them are as young as that. And I'm just like, oh my God, what am I going to do with you? Please stop talking to me. I cannot teach you shit. And they're like, you can teach me. I'm like, I'm not teaching. <laughs> no, you don't got to teach them. They already know, girl. They don't got to teach them shit. They do not know. <laughs> what? They know. Uh, they know more than they think they know. <laughs> <laughs> they think taking it slow means literally going slow like no uh, oh, well I wasn't trying to take it slow and I during the summer had a little affair with a I think it was 20 25 <laughs> better say 25 bitch oh my god I want to say he was 25 I want to say he was 25 I really don't remember he was a little baby <laughs> a little baby little baby boy Sweet as those peaches. Sweet as those peaches you eat. <laughs> just kidding. She's just kidding. how soft they are. Like, watch how it just melts her shit. Just, What's that? Is there really have healthy ears? Look at that. I gotta cover them. Well, that shit's crazy. I hope to. Wait, you're, not, you're, not trying to, you're not trying to hook up with the little baby boys? I think you should. No. I think you should give it a try. I don't have time to teach no little boy. Nothing. <laughs> I need Who's a girl. You to teach him? And me, Who's especially. Yeah, right. I need you don't a have to mature, evolved man. <laughs> I need his mind in the right space. I just need his mind in the right space. And well, it depends on what you need him for, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I have my vegetarians on deck too. Like, <laughs> so I mean. I need to get one of those. I guess that's my problem, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you don't need a man. You just you just call Tyro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I always feel like pressure because I because of where I live. It's like, you know, it's plastic surgery heaven. And I always feel pressured to like get some kind of plastic surgery so I can I keep up with the Joneses. Even though, like, you know, I feel like, hey, for for the time of the season, I feel like the body's doing pretty good. But I don't know. Like, yeah. you know, California. Well, it's California. So everybody feels pressured to, I mean, I don't know if everybody, feels, but like, I feel like a lot of people feel pressured to do it. I know um, there's been a lot of controversy over it. Um, didn't you have a story about some chick that she tried to get a BBL? And like, I would like, for instance, when I was on my way back from Miami, mm -hmm. literally there were chicks in the airplane that they were not sitting in their chair. They were kneeling in their chair because they had just got BBLs oh and they couldn't sit on their ass. So they were kneeling in the seat and like, put their hands up over the back of the seat like facing you, you feel me like it was weird like there was like 10 girls in the plane like that so because they had all got bbl they had all gone to miami get bbl and they were flying back to wherever the fuck they were from <clears throat> and so 
I don't know, some crazy shit, but like yeah. you feel pressure to keep up with the Joneses. And like you uh-huh. have this this story about like some chick, right? She fucking yeah. died because what uh, happened? Uh, a mother, she was 26 years old. She um died from the plastic surgery. The anesthesia is really what killed her. She was there to get her be- her her boobs done, breast implant, and a BBL. And um, the place in Miami was had a worker there that was not even licensed to be giving anesthesia. So she mm-hmm. was give her the right amount, and or oh, shit. and um, yeah, maybe she had an overdose on it, but uh. Her, her family's seeking answers right now. She she went to Florida for the same thing. Or she either lived in Florida. I don't know. But the lady was unqualified to give it. So um, they definitely have a lawsuit on her on their hands. Her name was uh, Janisha, Jayla for short, Williams. Oh, yeah. She flew from California. Um, See, California. That's yeah. crazy. And like, I feel like there's a lot of pressure out here. Like, I mean, a lot of pressure. Way more, like, even crazier than when I was in Vegas. Um, than to get the plastic surgery out here. It's like everybody's getting something done. Some kind of Botox. Some kind of some uh, shit. Even like, you know, they try to invite me to their, you know, mom shit, and they'll be like, "Oh, we're gonna have a Botox party," and I'm like, "The fuck?" I'm like, "Are my wrinkles that bad? Like, do I need?" <laughs> I mean, like second guess to myself. Uh, but it's like, I mean, I feel like you you get that when you when you start seeing that you I don't know. I don't even know if you ever get it, but like if you start seeing that you need it, I guess maybe you do, but I, I don't know. Maybe I don't know what I look like. I, I don't well, see it. Um, you know, this is the same thing that Kanye West is huh? I said I definitely don't need no boobies. <laughs> you got all that they thought girl um but no it's something that Kanye yeah, his mom, his as well. mm-hmm. she went in and she got liposuction she got a tummy tuck and she got um, a breast re- reduction the day before she died so it's like Crazy shit. I get it, people. You guys want to look good, but don't you want to be alive? Like, take your ass to the gym. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, girls. I don't know what to tell you, ladies. That's I guess guys too. Shirt. Guys be doing the most too. Yeah. Like out here, guys, guys will get the same plastic surgery. They'll get pecs implants. They'll get their cheeks done. Like so many people out here. It's not it's crazy. Michelle. It's not. It's, it's not, not that real. I think I need a refill and I don't have a beer wange. Oh, okay. I think we need to bring back the beer wange. The beer wange needs to come back. Yes. Remember when I used to have my beer wange? I, I need a beer wange because now I'm going to have to get up and get my own uh, beer. Well, we're about to close out anyways on that note. We're sorry to have <laughs> crazy news for you this time, but it doesn't seem like a whole lot of good has been going on right now, except everybody going Christmas shopping and getting in the Christmas spirit. <laughs> I'm mad at that. I'm not mad at that. I love everybody to be in the Christmas spirit. But before we close out, I definitely want to give um a little shout out to my Saggies because it's still your season. And I want to let you guys know that your dress rehearsal is over. You need to emerge from the green room to greet your adoring fans. It's officially showtime. So that's going to be on December 20th. Your celestial stage director, your live out loud Jupiter is going to swing back into Aries and turns your house lights on in your fifth house of fame. Okay. Fertility and creative expression are going to be abundant. I want you to rise and shine and dress to impress Sagittarius. Uh, You guys might already have a wardrobe for it. In fact, since it's the second of Jupiter's two laps through Aries, um, you guys already had this feeling in May. Uh, It's rolling around for you again. Okay. Um, But watch out because just as it's rolling around, retrograde is coming back. Um, but don't trip because it's going to be all behind you. Um, from now up until six months, you guys are going to have some real traction to fertilize your dreams and to get things going and, uh, basically produce your 
come back if you were down and if you weren't down it's going to be your show out okay so um yeah it's also time for you to take care of yourself to make a name for yourself right now is not the time for you to be shy Sagittarius we know sometimes you guys get in your mood where you don't want to talk to nobody and you want to shut the world out but now is not the time now is the time for you to shine um also um don't settle if it's going to be your 15 minutes of fame, make sure that it's good. And you're going to be going through this jaunt with Jupiter. All this shit's going to be happening. It's also going to be a time for maybe some romantic shit to come out. So um, if, you, if you're already in a bond, you're going to be super glued to each other. And if you're not in a bond, this could be a time to explore some options okay <laughs> but no matter what relax and enjoy the process don't put too much pressure on yourself um, and keep it festive this week all right and um it's going to be winding down at the end of this week so make sure you have a big ass piece of that chocolate cake before we head into crap corn okay period <laughs> as you're talking it was like i'll be festive with what you wear i'm like are you there <laughs> <laughs> yes we were both in our festive guys but first cocktails I and then that. i got on my little elf hat so i'm gonna be pressing passing out presents tonight and also get my drink on hey sounds like eggnog. the eggnog is abundant <laughs> <laughs> that's what they want it is eggnog. Ah. Well, you know what? Everybody has their favorite holiday drink. What's your favorite holiday drink? I would have to say the eggnog and the and the rum mixed together. I love that. It's deliciousness. Yes, I love that. I like I like eggnog and rum, eggnog and brandy. Um, I also like, you know, the holiday cranberry drinks, like the cranberry spritzer shits and all that. Apple, apple cranberry cider bullshit. I love that. Do the one and I'm good. But anyways, uh, let's yeah. wrap it up because I do have other places to be. <laughs> uh, well, I just want to be here with you guys. I'm enjoying it, but it is tis the season, so let's make haste, not waste. And on that note, <laughs> always <laughs> safe sex and motherfucking peace. Hey, sex. <laughs> Hi everybody. Yeah. Love you. Merry Christmas, you guys. Thank <laughs> you.